So welcome back to another episode and tonight was the video game award ceremony. Uh, a ceremony that's always been a bit dubious in the past. Uh, always heavily shrouded in a lot of uh, advertisements and paid advertisements for video games and you know people saying that they like certain games when they don't like them that kind of stuff but I will say this much it was one of the better video game award shows I've ever seen they had a lot of great guests Mark Hamill was there uh, a lot of really great games won awards that you know and deservingly so really de deservingly so so I was enjoying it I was like oh this is this is not too bad this is not too bad but Man, the thing that just blew my mind is that Metal Gear won an award. And we're like, oh cool, you know, Kojima's gonna come up and accept the award. And, and then Jeff Keighley, who is the host of the Video Game Awards, says, no, 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 sorry, he's not here to accept the award. And he gives the reason why. And this blew my mind. I mean, you just get so pissed off hearing it. I think anybody who is a video gamer for any amount of time over the years who's played a Metal Gear game or enjoyed Konami in the past, this will just drive you nuts. This is what he said. Mr. Kojima had every intention of being with us tonight, but unfortunately he was informed by a lawyer representing Konami just recently that he would not be allowed to travel to tonight's award ceremony to accept any awards. He's still under an employment contract, and it's disappointing. Isn't that interesting? And so the host is also saying this is pretty, pretty ridiculous. You know, the guy, oh my God, Hideo Kojima is a god at Konami. They should be worshiping his feet for the years of service he's given to this company, the breakthroughs he's made in gaming over the years with the Metal Gear franchise, the amount of joy he has brought to the world. It's like Miyamoto getting an award at Nintendo and Nintendo not letting him go up and get it. It's the same exact thing and it's the same maddening uh, feeling that you have watching this thing and you're just going, oh my god, a legendary creator like Hideo Kojima, the, the crowd should be crowd serving him up to to get that award and he deserves it and it just goes to show that there's so much going on there we all knew we've known this for such a long time we've known it for such a long time there's such a problem with Kojima and Konami but it's so disappointing and sad to hear it's even at this level that they're banning him from picking up a goddamn award. They're, they're shunning him. Like, what do they think this is doing for their company? Do you think everybody's out there going, good job, uh, Konami, we're with you. Not one person said that ever. And I can, I can say that. Nobody would ever say that. Very, very disappointing news. Konami was already finished, but they're twice as finished now. I, you know, I... It's always funny boycotting a company. It really is. But in this term, we all agree with Konami. What a, what a load of crap. A lawyer. They needed a lawyer to tell Kojima, oh, sorry, you can't pick up that award. You're under some contract. I've never heard of such a thing. I've never heard of this before in video gaming, ever. Not like this. Not with such a huge creator. And he's remaining silent. You know, I'll give him this. He's been the professional one. But it must must be driving him freaking crazy. So, uh, Kojima, congrats on getting the award. You know what I mean? Uh, you deserve it all. Like I, I played number five. I absolutely loved it. I know it wasn't what you wanted it to be. I know you wanted it to be a lot more, but that's when you had the falling out. It's just too bad. Uh, Konami just can't let it go, and they can they can't let the person that just made them a lot of goddamn money with Metal Gear Solid 5 collect a much deserved award. It's really frustrating. So anyways guys, what do you think about this down below? I'm I'm just sure that everybody was just as pissed off. It's just it's really terrible news and really unfortunate and really disappointing. That's for sure. So anyways guys, until next time.